Hi, today we will be discussing the Runtime Error 1004 General ODBC Error. Well, first of all, we're going to be running through a typical ODBC installation to make sure that everything is running correctly and that all the files are in its place. So first of all, we'll right click on our Premiere Directory shortcut and select Open File Location. From here we'll scroll all the way to the top and we're going to go into the ODBC folder. Once inside the ODBC folder we'll sort everything by type. I'll select the first .dll file and I'll select all the .dll files. If you do have more than 8 files, don't worry, you're still going to copy all the .dll files. I'm just going to right click and copy and I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop and I'm just going to call this folder ODBC. We're going to be deleting this folder afterwards. I'm going to be opening up the folder and I'm going to be pasting all the .dll files. Once I've copied those I'm going to copy them again from this new folder that I've created on the desktop. I'm going to copy them again and I'm going to go down to my local disk C. Once I'm in here, I'm going to proceed into the Windows folder. I'm going to scroll down, down, down until I see SysWire64. So as soon as I see SysWire64, I'm going to right click on it and it's going to select Paste. If it does ask you to replace the files, you can go ahead and replace all the files in the destination. If you do see this prompt, you can just tick the box, do this for all current items and select continue. We're going to be doing exactly the same thing for system 32. Right click on it and select paste. Once again, replace the files in the destination. The box is already selected for do this for all current items and click on continue. Perfect. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to proceed back to my C drive and on here I want to create a new folder once more and this folder is quite important and we're going to call it TEMP temp. I'm going to close that now that we've done with the copying of the files, I'm going to delete this ODBC folder. Now that that's deleted, I'm going to proceed to ODBC Setup or Setup, which other one of the two you have. You can run either or of them, but I'm going to select this one over here. Now, at this stage, you're asking me for a password. Now, this password is possessed by the ODBC super user for the company. If you do not have an ODBC super user, please contact us. There will be some documentation that needs to be completed. I'll add a link in the description and you can follow that to get to the documentation needed. But luckily on this test, I do have the code. So I'm going to proceed to log in. If you do get to the stage and it's asking for an authorization code, please give us a call and we'll assist you as best we can. Now, as soon as I've got the ODBC configuration tool open, the first thing I want to do is test that all my passwords are working. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the permissions tab and I'm going to select my user. So, with this, I only have the one user and the one username is now VIP. So, and once that user is selected, I'll go to change user password. And I'm just going to confirm the password that I've entered before, the one I'm quite known for. And this password, I'm just going to make one, two, three, four, five. The requirements for the password is it has to be five characters or more and not containing any kind of special characters. Now that I've clicked on OK, I'm going to go and click on Apply Changes. Now this will ensure that any kind of password that I enter when running reports are correct because a faulty password can result in a general ODBC error.
perfect. Now that that is done, I'm going to close this and we're going to come to one of the most crucial parts and that is the ODBC requirements. I'll list the requirements down below but I'm just going to talk with you through all of that. So the first thing that I always check for is firstly I'm going to open up a blank Excel sheet. So you can do this with Word as well but I just prefer to work with Excel as that's the platform that we usually go for. Just going to open up a blank workbook. Perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on File and I'm going to go down to Account. If you have any kind of Office package that is from 2010 and upwards, um, you should see that you will have the Accounts option. So once I've now selected Account, first thing I'll do is roughly on the right hand side toward the middle, I'm going to select About Excel. So here it will give you a description to what office package you have. So we've got a Microsoft Excel 2016 MSR with a long version number. Now this is the crucial part. So mine says it is a 32-bit. It does require a 32-bit platform to run. So if you are using a 64-bit platform of Excel or Office, you will need to get that changed. There is unfortunately no way around this, so you will need to change that platform in order to run your reports, as this is the most common cause for the general ODBC error. Okay, now next we're going to go over the other ODBC requirements. So first of all, the VIP drive needs to be mapped to a drive letter. For example, the V drive or the Y drive or the Z drive, whichever is your preference, and not a server name. Please do not map it to a server name. It will require a drive letter. If the server name is referenced within the Y or the V drive, please make sure that the server name does not contain any kind of spaces or special characters. Otherwise, your IT can just maybe assist you to map that drive to the IP address instead. Well, next, for the requirements, it will require you to have full control, or in other words, local administrator rights, to your C drive, as it will read for the location to your Excel and VIP. Saying that, it will also require you to have full read and write access to whichever map drive your primary directory is on. So if you do have a V drive that your primary directory is on, you will have to have full read and write access to that map drive. So going on to the operating systems, ODBC will work on any kind of Windows 7, 8 or 10, 32 or 64 bit. Now the reporting tool, as I said, the minimum is Office 2007 Professional activated with all features and add-ins installed on a 32-bit platform. It will not work on a 64-bit platform. So furthermore, if you do have any kind of further struggles, I do recommend on your antivirus, firewall or Windows Defender to maybe just go and exclude your VIP directory from real-time scanning as that can be a cause to the general ODBC error as well. In regards to smart reporting, the only additional requirement there is is that you will have to have .NET Framework, Service Pack 2, 1, the full 4, full four client or 4.51 client for .NET. As soon as you have sure that you met all the requirements, you can move on and test one of your reports. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.